In the next experiment, we are going to learn about pressure in general. So, in the beginning I told you, what is pressure? Pressure is the force per unit area. So, the force applied per unit area is called pressure. So, shall we begin our experiment? For this experiment, you will need two balloons and toothpicks. Here I am using toothpick. You can also use nails or bell pins or any sharp object. So what we are going to learn here is pressure. We will begin by inflating the balloon. I have inflated the balloon and I am securing its end. So the end is secured. Now I am going to prick this balloon with a toothpick. One single toothpick. You can use a single pin or a nail for this. So, we were able to pop the balloon using a single toothpick. So now, let us see what happens when you use many toothpicks together. So I am inflating the second balloon. So my second balloon is inflated. I am securing its end. Now I am going to use not one but many toothpicks. So you notice that however hard I try to prick it, it doesn't burst. Why does this happen? This is because of pressure. So the force applied per unit area is more in a single toothpick because the area of a single toothpick is lesser, so the pressure is more. However, when we use many toothpicks together, the area available is more, therefore the pressure is less and this pressure is not sufficient to pop the balloon. So what did we learn in this experiment? We learnt about pressure. We inflated two balloons and when we used a single toothpick to prick it, the balloon bursts. However, when we used many toothpicks, it did not burst because the area is more and the pressure is less. That is not sufficient to pop the balloon. So I hope you understood the definition of pressure and how it works.